one. Hey guys, Speak Easy podcast listeners. You know, I kind of missed y'all. I know, I know you're going to say, but we just heard from you yesterday. I know, I know. But you know, when we do these uh, podcast series, I try to get them all out to you. And I want to make sure that you're tapping into the amazing information that is being shared. But I honestly, I love hearing from you guys. So make sure that you're joining the conversation. If you go to bit.ly forward slash world voice community, definitely make sure you're coming in, letting us know how this episode resonates with you, or you can always leave us a review on your favorite podcasting platform. Now, with this pot, this Power of Why series, guys, can we just be honest? Sometimes your Power of Why your why is a heavy lift. That's a little That's a little segue in case y'all didn't know. But I really want you to tap into this particular episode. If you've been saying, well, my why seems like it's a lot bigger than what I can handle on my own. My why seems like it's too heavy. It seems like it's too much. Especially when we try to put it down on paper, man, then it really like takes on a mind of its own. But guess what? Just because it's your why does not mean that you always have to be the one to carry it by yourself. And so with that being said, I'm excited to have our guest today. Hello, Isabel. How are you? Altavis, I am excited to be here with you. This is going to be a phenomenal episode. I had to learn the hard way to stop trying to carry everything on my (laughs) carry everything on my own. Yeah, hard head, soft behind. Yep, I'm the one. But I'm glad that I learned it when I did. And Isabel, I want you to tell the studio audience a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to dive into today's topic. All right. So the Reader's Digest version is that I'm a farm girl who was a teen mom, unexpectedly, who left home and said, "Mm, can't do that, can't go back there, and had to make a choice. You know, you could be the victim, you could be the survivor, and I didn't particularly like either of those odds, so I chose to be the thriver. And in that journey of making that decision, making that commitment, and really having my why began with that little baby boy and I, who was 16 years old, to make a better life for our for us. And I realized I couldn't do it all on my own. As much as I'm just like all the other women out there that we can put our superwoman panties on and think, okay, I got this. I can do it all. I can take care of everybody. I can, you know, I can bring home the bacon. The truth is that we can't do it all, all of the time, and we can't do it all well. And I learned, I was fortunate, I had some some incredible mentors as I grew into a womanhood. And they gave me a perspective of, you know, there are people that I need to learn from and people I, I need to observe and admire and take from them the best qualities um, and people that have learned things before me that I don't have to invent from the ground up. I can I can stand on their shoulder pads. And that evolved into my lifelong philosophy and my personal mantra of lift as you climb. Because I realized for every person that helped me, um, I could give back. I could help somebody else. And as I went through my life and ultimately became an entrepreneur, and I went from that farm girl to a CEO and sitting at boardroom tables instead of the farm table, I I learned that it was an advantage and it was a responsibility to have that reciprocity and to think strategically about what I needed to learn, what I needed to, you know, improve on who I should know and be connected and follow and emulate. And at the same time, to sort of take stock of what I had to offer other people and to reach back and give them a hand up. So that wasn't exactly Reader's Digest, but you get the kind of gist of it all, right? No, that was perfect. And you ended it right on an amazing point, because I think a lot of times as women, we, 
we become ashamed of what we've been through. Mm -hmm. And so we don't know, you know, we think that the hand up is a hand out. Not, um, not the case unless you make it that right if there and that's where I think I feel like the lift as you climb completes that cycle is that yes someone may may help me and give me something some support or or aid but as long as I am paying that forward and backward and sideways and 360 you know it there's this um continued energy that moves around the world and you and I have a a global perspective about what's possible when we reach out and make connections and relationships around the world right Uh, I have a a, one of my mentors in my life her name is Mark Hashi and she had a beautiful way of looking at a woman's life in that you know we don't have a professional life and a personal life we have one whole life and that holistic approach requires us to have you know that that again that reciprocity of lifting and climbing at the same time and sort of perpetuating that exchange of energy and goodwill and feminine wisdom that goes around the world isabel i'm so happy that you said that Uh, Because we do have these kind of misconceptions coming in and it's because of your level of expertise and how long you've been in the entrepreneurial space, you know, someone would look and say, oh, well, no, you have it easy because it looks easy now, right? Yeah. But starting out, man, you kind of get a little... Like, you don't know which way to go. You don't know who to turn to. So when they're looking for that inspiration, when they're looking for that person that's going to give them the hand up, what's some things, some characteristics that you think are important for them to look for? Someone who's done it bigger than they have. Uh, and working it hard. One of the uh, big ahas in my life was I was that rugged individualist for a while, different periods in my life when I had started my company and it was growing and doing well. And I thought, I got this, you know, like I'm the super mom, the super neighbor, the super family party entertainer, organizer, everything, right? And um, I thought I was doing pretty darn well until somebody convinced me that I should join a woman's business uh, peer advisory board group. And I, in my, at that time, I think my business was around five million a year in sales. And suddenly I'm at a table with 19 other women who many of them have businesses much greater than mine and have been in business longer than me. You know, some women's businesses were 20, 25, I think one was $50 million. Now I'm in an environment where I'm going, holy, look what they have learned, what they are sharing with me. I benefited so hugely from their wisdom and perspective and what they learned to do and what they learned not to do, that that opened my aperture up so far um, to say, you know, I don't know it all and I have so much to learn. And so looking for people that have... um, climbed higher than me already was a really really smart decision to do and from that joining that group my business tripled oh i love that yeah because you, you know, don't yeah. you don't know what you don't know right exactly that's it right there um one of the things that i appreciate with being able to connect with so many different men and women that have been guests on the podcast and speak easy podcast listeners you know we've had people come on that you didn't know them at all, but they were making six and seven figures and, you know, in their business and you were listening to their story, you were listening to, you know, their lessons and it was like, wow, okay, I can do more than what I'm doing right now. I can actually take this to another level, Mm -hmm. but, you know, then you go and you tap into it and say, what's been holding me back this long? 
<laughs> Absolutely. You just have to get out of your own way uh, and and be open to you don't you you don't know it all yet at all. Yeah. You also ask, you know, how do you how do you look for those right people to to lift? And I look for um, someone who's got real diverse experience as well from my own. Um, so knowing that somebody is in a different business, different industry, different age, different cultural background, everything, the, the more diverse the relationships and the connections are, the more rich uh, the knowledge transfer between you. So I think that's another point to to look for. Oh, definitely. I, I've been able to connect with uh, with people all over the world, and I think you know we find that there are some amazing silver linings that kind of thread us together. Yeah. And then there are some things that we're like, "Wait, you don't do this? Oh, wait, no, you sure?" <laughs> you get to learn. Um, yeah about so many different things, but it also always benefits you. And, you know, you talked about this, the fact that, you know, people try to separate life and business as if it's two different things. And it's not when you're elevating, you're going to elevate and you're either going to elevate in both or you're not going to elevate. (laughs) It's not going to work. Right. You you don't you don't show up as a, a different person in your personal life than your professional life. Um, uh, well, you might be able to sustain that for a very brief period. It's like putting on a costume, right? Mm-hmm. But at some point, the the mask comes off, and there's only you there. And if you're not living and working and showing up aligned with your values. It's just not sustainable. And people see through that really fast as well. And then your reputation, and that's what I've always felt, is that the only real thing that I have control over is my reputation. Mm. That's valuable. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know something I've asked all of the ladies that have come on for the Power of Why series has been, you know, what has the Power of Why really done for your business? <laughs> So the power of why for my business, and, and I've, I've, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Um, I also say I'm a serial wife, but that's another episode. <laughs> uh, is uh, so my why is to have the power to grant wishes, and I felt um, really compelled as I through my life I. I worked with a lot of other women business owners after I sold my business and helping them. And I I recognized that I could help more people by sharing my story. So I became an author. I wrote a book. And in that there, I very candidly, transparently shared what the lessons were in my life. And then from that, I realized that I could help more people by creating an online platform and sharing that information so my power of the power of why to grant wishes began with granting my own but then being able to have a greater positive impact with more women around the world by going online oh wow and i think speak easy podcast listeners if you haven't tapped into what's been going on in the online market in the online world and I know you've said well I can't get with the TikTok I can't Instagram is too much it's a bunch of pictures I I understand I know yeah. when, whenever we get a new platform we kind of can get a little little crazy or yeah. it's a little you know outside of our comfort zone but even if you just tap into the one platform that one platform can make a significant difference for your business Absolutely. Whether you are learning or you're trying to reach and share your message with other people, it's right. It's it's choosing a platform and um, with this group. And, and I feel so honored to have been included in this uh, book anthology, this collaboration and curation of feminine wisdom, the power of why to that uh, we can all talk about where 
the experiences that we are having in that process of learning how to deliver our message and share our value online with um, education. And I, I love the fact that anybody with a phone or a laptop, uh, whether it's getting fuzzy or not, can go and self-educate, right? They can tap into the wisdom of the masters and of people just like themselves uh, for so little time and doing it from the comfort of your home or wherever you are. It's been, a you know, the upside of COVID has been it's put a lot of us in that place where we've said, okay, we're not going anywhere. What can we do? How can we reach out and continue to grow our business and fulfill our own dreams and goals? So yay I for the internet. It. Right? Yay for the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay for the and internet. Yay for the internet. I know for me personally, I am a, an avid reader. So it's it's been tapping into those books tapping into like I just pulled out a few more books and said okay these are going to be the ones that I'm going through this week for you know my podcast and for my business and then this is the personal one for life that I'll go through this week and you know other people are just like after high school I didn't want to read any books and then I went to college and definitely didn't want to read any books after that and I said well it's it's a thing of how far do you really want to go yeah, that's that that's lift as you climb um do it yourself. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. DIY. Uh I y- you're like me. I have books and I am so excited for where they take me and how they expand my vision and what I learn and um I'd love to compare notes with you on what you're reading cuz I'm thick into Dr. Joe Dispenza's breaking the habit of being yourself right now and shaking me up shaking me up oh my goodness I love that that is actually one that is on my list (laughs) oh my goodness so because I do what I do well I love audible audible is my best friend me too I have different books that are on my list and you know, as I go through books, I try to do, I try to go through about two or three a week, depending on, you know, what's going on and, you know, how big of a book it is and, and, right. you know, how much it'll help. But uh, just recently, someone had made a suggestion and I was like, I've never heard of that one. And I really had to go and, and you know, track it down. And when I found it, I said, oh, Wow. So it's the 13 things mentally strong women do. No, don't do. Yes. Whoa. Okay. I'm, I'm putting that on my list too. Yes. Yeah. And it is so good. <laughs> yeah. You know that a book really has impact if you are listening to it on Audible, because I'm like you, and then you go, oh my gosh, I could get paperback too. Exactly. So. I can put sticky <laughs> sticky notes in it, and I've got little tags, and yeah, I'm going. Okay, I gotta I gotta go back and do that. I've got to remember that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, is this? Are we geeking out here? Yeah, we're geeking, geeking out now. Because yeah. I, listen, I'm glad to know that I am not alone in that. But yes, when I heard that, and I think it was on it was on a, a call that I heard, and I'm always <laughs> listening, and you know what, good books, and and when they said that, and I was like. I've never heard of that book. Why am I? And then, then I saw that they had different ones and they had the one for, for women. I said, I need that book. Yep. Me too. Okay. I'm, I'm signing up. <laughs> I know we just had a moment speak easy podcast. Listeners are like, wait, what? Let, I need to go get the book. Let me go find the book too. <laughs> right. Come, come back here. We're not finished with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness, guys, it's it's definitely I'm really big on tapping into those things that are going to move the needle forward. And even with everything that is going on this year, you've still had some significant ways that you can move the needle forward in life and in business. And listen, it's all about how far you really want to go. You want to make the seven figures, you want to make eight figures, you want to make six, you want to make just five, whichever, it's up to you. And when you tap into communities and conversations, 
it definitely broadens your horizon. So I, I absolutely adore this conversation. Isabel, let them know how they can reach out to you for more information and where they can find you at online. Absolutely. My pleasure. So my name is Isabel Banerjee. That's like energy. And it's spelled I-S-A-B-E-L. And it's Banerjee, B like boy, A-N-E-R-J-E-E. And there's an IsabelBanerjee.com. The place that you will find me hanging around most of the time is the Encore Academy, which is my online platform. And that's where I have curated feminine wisdom and created a faculty of other women who are sharing their wisdom. Um, I would love to offer your listeners a gift, if if I may, today. A uh, part of my journey uh, about my life and who I am now was figuring out just really how valuable I am and everything in my life that added up to the personal currency that I had been accumulating. And so I created um, a freebie for your guests and your listeners called Unlock and Unleash You. And it's a personal currency assessment that helps you walk through just how great a treasure you are. It's very easy to get it. The download is free. You go to myencore.me that's m y e n c o r e dot m e and poof it's there and it's there for anyone it's really you know i created it thinking about women like you and i and others around the world but it would be valuable invaluable for men children the next door neighbor, whoever. So share it with your friends and just do um, what Alta Viz is doing. Like just expand your horizons, but don't lose sight. Don't lose sight of how incredible you are yourself. Most definitely. Speak easy podcast listeners. I adore you. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure that you're joining the conversation bit.ly forward slash world voice community because guess what we want to hear how you liked this topic how you resonated with this episode or you can leave us a review on your favorite podcasting platform uh guys you know this is alta v Felzer, your voice manager and until next time don't forget to press it out see ya